Hey guys, I am super pumped about today's video because I received this box in mail day before yesterday and I have been dying to wear it out and just have fun with this. Now, before I jump into the unboxing, I do want to share the lipstick of the day as well as I have two new perfumes from Dossier which I also do want to share. And if you guys have already noticed, I got a new haircut, which was long overdue. Hopefully it is looking good on me. Be sure to leave your comments because I do love to read comments. <laughs> All right, guys. So without any further ado, let's jump into the, into the video. <laughs> So let me start with the lipstick of the day. So the lipstick is by Tom Ford. It is called the Lulu and it's from the Boys and Girls uh, collection. It's not the, uh, the regular collection. And this is how it looks. It's a mauve pinkish kind of a tone see and the reason for uh, you know like why I'm sharing my lipstick is the uh, last time I ordered this lipstick I got a lot of messages from you guys asking about the lipstick so I thought I would share it in this video next up I have two new perfumes from Dossier uh, which were sent to me so thanks to Dossier and uh, the first one is the floral peony and this one is inspired by chloe now i do love chloe perfumes and i do have the chloe perfume in my collection uh, but you know this one is a pretty close match to the chloe perfume this one is inspired by the chloe perfume now if this is your first time hearing about the brand uh, uh, Dossier. I do have a full dedicated video on Dossier, so I will be sure to link it uh, up here. And uh, you know, um, after this video, maybe you can go check that out. Now this other perfume is called the Floral Honeysuckle. And this one is inspired by Gucci Blue. Now I know a lot of us are a big fan of Gucci Bloom and so am I. I used to own a Gucci Bloom, I ran out of it. And this one is a very close match to that. So let's put this one on. Ooh, this is a lot. So I just, I don't need another pump. I'm pretty good with this one. Okay, so now let's jump into the unboxing. Now, I did mention that I got this in mail the day before yesterday. I was super excited, super stoked, so I could not control my excitement. I went ahead and unboxed it. Um, I'm really bad with those kind of things, you know, I cannot control myself. Now, the other reason behind, uh, you know, like doing the unboxing uh, was I, I mean, I got two, um, now this is a Chanel Mini and this is my first Chanel Mini but I did get two of these so one was the regular one and this one is the Pearl Crush hey. so I was not in a position to keep both and also you will see in a minute like uh, um, why I chose this one I mean I'm gonna give my explanation in terms of why i chose this over the uh, the regular one because uh, some of you might be like yo why did you return the regular one versus get this one anyways to each their own i think everyone <laughs> has different likings so it did come wrapped up the way chanel does so this is the proof of purchase the ribbon the camellia and all of that jazz and it came oh it came in this dust bag with uh, everything inside the box. All right. So the most interesting factor that I found for this bag was it came wrapped up amazingly. Like I've purchased so many other Chanel bags. I've never seen a Chanel bag come packaged like so. Anyways, so da 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 da. Yes, you guys, I got this bag in this beautiful white color. And as I was mentioning about the other mini bag that I had uh, purchased was also in the same colorways, same lambskin, but it was the regular mini. So I decided to keep this one 
and return the regular one. Although the regular one is sort of classic, but you know, this one just spoke a little bit more to me. And I felt like this one had that uh, extra warmth to it versus the regular one. And also I feel like this is a seasonal piece, so I don't know if Chanel is going to continue making this uh, versus the, you know, like, the regular mini which is by the way not considered as a classic piece which is also a seasonal piece but we have seen those come year after year so yeah so long story short i went with this one what pursued me to keep this one and return the regular one is obviously this pearl detail which the pearl crush has and the the brushed gold color of this one i loved this one and when i did a little bit of a comparison uh, i felt like this one was a little bit softer and uh, the strap was a little bit thinner and the bottom was uh, this one is kind of uh, fluffy and it's soft and all of these things uh, versus the regular one was had a hard bottom uh, but you know what you have to go with what your heart desires what makes your heart sing versus always thinking about uh, which one will, is more worth purchasing and stuff like that because things are meant to be owned and uh, felt good about right so yeah both of them were in the white color so the decision was not hard for me <laughs> if uh, i would have gotten in two different colors maybe it would have been a hard choice but yeah and if you have seen my previous unboxing of chanel um i'm certainly on a roll on a uh, for white bags but my chanel 19 the white color is uh, quite different from this one and i felt like these two bags are totally different and would be used for completely different purposes so, so yeah um i am so happy to add this to my collection now i am certainly not the type of a person who uh, purchases one chanel bag after the other i am just not in that state so for me uh, to be able to keep this or add this to my collection I had to let go two of my bags and it was a very hard decision but it just made me uh, feel a little bit less guilty and I was able to recoup uh, most of my money uh, you know that's just a side note totally unnecessary but decided to share it all right guys so that is it for this video um this was a very quick short sort of just an unboxing sharing uh, my new handbag with you guys and i will be sure to do um, other videos on what fits in this bag what fits in channel 19 comparisons and this and that of uh, sort of videos but uh if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel maybe this would be a good time for you to subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video now before i end this video i do want to show you uh, some close-ups of this uh, bag um, just in case if you are in the market and you're still deciding um, you know hopefully this video will help you make a decision good to go for or not go for and uh, why i chose the rectangular over the square the square was also available not in this colorways in a different color but i thought the rectangular would be a better choice for me just because in the square one i will not be able to fit the phone now that being said i do have other handbags wherein the phone does not fit but I do like my phone to fit in my bag so that I'm hands-free when I'm hands-free if I'm going to wear this bag crossbody I should be able to do that right and uh, the best feature of this bag is this pearl uh, detail here this big ball um, and you don't have to fidget with the strap you know sometimes people um, shorten the strap by 
cooking it inside or tying it inside the flap versus this one it you you can either lengthen or shorten the strap just by pressing on this uh, on this pearl and then this one has all the elements of the classic bag so it has this back pocket and uh, the turn lock obviously this is a flap design and then the interior you guys it is stunning this one has a gold interior versus i don't exactly remember what was the color of the other like the regular one i think it was uh, off white i don't i don't recall i wish i would have made a video on that sort of a comparison video right anyways <laughs> and this one it has this um, the newer uh, the plate versus the authenticity card so that is it guys and uh, yeah uh, oh yeah I did want to mention one thing this this bag is much softer compared to the regular mini so I'm not sure if I will have to add sort of a bag insert so if you happen to have this bag be sure to leave a comment do you use a bag insert or do you just use the bag by itself um, yeah any kind of advice would be really helpful so that is it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, i will see you in my next one bye